Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Uh, got some accomplishments made on the Yarbrough Buick. Uh, chassis complete. Got that all set up. I had it sitting on this mirror because when I was doing the uh, the wheels and stuff, uh, just to make sure everything was square and uh, not going to rock, and everything seems to be pretty sturdy uh, right now. So I think I was a success on that. Uh, just, but got the chassis done. Um, uh, there's that dash in there that we did the decals on, uh, just makes that interior stand right out. And I opted not to go. I couldn't really find any other decals for the dash here. So I, I just opted to not go with any, uh, unless I come across some, you know, between now and then that I can maybe still stick in there. But for now, I think I'm just going to leave that blank, uh, just like it is, um, but we got that, got the fuel cell. Like I said, I detailed the fuel cell, even though you're not going to be able to see it when it's done. I know it's in there, so I wanted to uh, detail that up. Uh, bottom side, got the exhaust on, down there where you can see it, of course. And uh, now it looks, I think this is my lens, the way I got my uh, camera part set up here. These look like they're turning out, but really they are straight. It depends on where that's at. So I think I got a little fish eye going on there, but they are straight. And, uh, but that's the chassis. So I think the chassis is pretty much done. Now I can just focus on the body and, uh, getting that going. But this video, as I told you in the other one, was going to be about how I detail, uh, weather my tires. Uh, not a whole lot different, I'm sure, than, than some guys do it. Uh, just, like I said, just a little bit different technique maybe for it. And I just wanted to share it with you guys, show you how I do it. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and pull this mirror out of the way. And we'll set this guy back here. Now I did, guys, I did these tires and wheels already. Uh, like I said, because when I did the chassis, I want to make sure everything was setting up and level. Uh, and that way when I just attached the tires, they was already on. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll just go back and decal these uh, as it is right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I got a couple extra sets here. Uh, I'm just going to start as we would find them in the kit. Uh, take them, we'll take them off the spider here and, uh, I'll show you how I do, uh, my detailing. So we'll take this, just cut this guy off of the spider here that out of the way and then we'll just snip this off okay now what i do is i'll get this just trim this as flat as i can now i don't i said the last video that i don't use a dremel and actually what i probably should have said was a chuck in a drill uh, or a, like a mandrel or something in a in a drill uh, i i don't do that <clears throat> i've never tried that i'm because I, I prefer to do mine uh, just by hand. So what I use, start out with 220. Uh, some people use 320. I, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe if you was using the drill, the 320 would go a little quicker. But I use 220 start out. And I'm just going to start with the tread. Now we're going to come back and do something with the sidewall here. So I just get on this and I'll just start... I'll just start sanding it like this. And this doesn't really take all that long. And what I found out as you're taking, you got this seam in the center right there. Uh, what I found out uh, after watching some of these old NASCAR, I mean, I'll, I'll come out here and work on these cars and, or any model really. And I'll put, I'll uh, get on YouTube and pull up uh, some of these old races and I'll just watch those races. And if you notice, well, when they show some of those pit reports and everything, they'll show brand new tires, and they'll actually show a seam in the middle of that tire. Uh, so I got to thinking, hmm, that's kind of interesting. So if you can't get all that seam out, uh, once again, uh, you're just going to maybe add some more realism to it, as would be on a new tire. Now, this is a little bit trickier where that was attached to that spider. But you see, we're like, see, we're better than three-fourths of the way around. We about got this tread done. 
it's coming close so but uh, the 220 really does a nice job on this part and I'm sorry guys if I could speed this up but I'm not that advanced yet so but we're we just about got that so look where we're at here so see see we're coming along and that's and that's wearing up nice. That's like that's like that's got some good racing miles on it. So we'll just go ahead and come back around here. Maybe go ahead and turn the paper. And then, like I said, that, that seam in the middle, I'm not going to worry if it's not completely gone. However, that seam, once they've got a... Once they've got a, a good bit of laps on them, uh, you're not going to see that seam, obviously. But like on the new set... Uh, you could see that seam on there yet. Okay, for the sakes of the video, that that's close. So that's that's where we would get the tread. All right. So that looks that looks pretty good and worn. Now for the sidewall. Now we're gonna put these decals on there. These decal. Uh, yeah, we know they're decals. These Goodyear Eagle decals on the tires. So this is a set again, the power slide set, and it's actually got McCreary. Now, I don't know, I really don't know that much or anything about McCreary tires. I don't know if maybe that was more of a, uh, like an indie type thing. You know, I, I don't know. I, I don't have a clue. But they give you a nice set of uh, McCreary tire uh, decals there. So we're using the Goodyear, obviously. Uh, but I did this on a couple of my cars so far. And it, to me, it didn't look necessarily like those would match up correctly. So I didn't want to do it over these raised letters. So what we're going to do is we take a good sharp hobby knife very carefully and we're just going to start skimming those skimming those letters off of there. Because if you look at the real tires, um, they look, that looks almost like they're more printed on instead of like a raised letter. I mean, I could be wrong. I've not once seen one in person up close. And if you get a little extra chunk out of there, we're not going to worry about it because we're going to clean that up here in just a minute. So we'll go ahead and keep peeling this till we get down to kind of a semi-flat surface anyway. We, we don't want to lose that total roundness there, but we just want to get mainly... Uh, the thickness of the letters off of that tire there. So just very, very lightly scrape until we smooth that out. That looks fairly good. Because I'm going to hit with some more paper. So that's about... I mean, it's kind of hard to see that, but it's mostly, the letters are mostly knocked down. So we'll come over here and I'm going to get these eagle. Now, you guys might be saying, what in the world is he doing? <laughs> but this is just a way, I mean, it's the way I found to do it that I really like the results in the end. Like I said, it may be a little bit of extra work, but this this is how... I enjoy myself modeling, and uh, and I think I said it just has a nice uh, appearance when it's finished. And when I'm done with this, because I'm not going to do all four of these tires, decaling all four of these tires on camera. We're just going to do one just to show you how I do it. But I do have a finished example over here that I'm going to show you when we're done. Okay, now that we got those knocked down, now I'm going to take a piece of 600. Because we don't really want the sidewall to be as... Uh, scuffed up as uh, the main tread. So we're just going to take this 600 on here. And we're just going to start working it around. And then this will help you see if you've got those letters knocked down. Uh, maybe as far as we should. Now this might look as scuffed up as the main tread, but we're going to fix that here in just a minute when we get this all worked out here. 
So then you could go around. And remember, we're going to have the decals over there too. So that, like I said, guys, if you look at, if you watch those NASCAR races and watch when they pull them tires off and, and look, um, the things aren't perfect anyway. So if we have just a little bit of gruffness, I'm going to get that edge there that, on that radius. So they say if, if they're just a little rough looking, in my, this is my opinion, guys. Now, if you want to, like a perfect show car, then yeah, you'd maybe opt to do it a different way than this. But okay, now that, see just a little bit, you can see a little bit of that R. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on the camera. But there's a little bit of that R right here by my thumb. So we're going to just peel him down just a little bit more. But the eagle's pretty well taken care of. And you might see the shadow of it, but that's okay because we're going to have the decals on there. Now that pretty much will do it, I think, for that. See, uh, it's a little bit longer than like using a, a drill, guys, but it, it still, it doesn't take all that long. Here, I've, I've been yakking a little bit. We're like 11 minutes. So you probably got maybe five minutes in this. So there we go. Now, I don't think I'm going to do the other side for sakes of time, but we'll just show you here. But you would do the same thing with the other side. Now, now we got it that far. Okay, we got the tread looking good. Um, we got the sidewall looking decent there. So I'm going to reach back here and I'm going to get some Novus 2. Okay, this stuff will work well on this that we're about to take care of here. So we'll get a little bit of this on. It's going to spit at me. Put a little bit of this on there. Now we're just going to take this around that sidewall. Take some of that scruff off of that. And guys, these are really good for polishing your cars too. These are just uh, like uh, gun cleaning patches. Uh, I get them at like Dunham's. Uh, they're the cotton flannel. They're really, really soft. So now we've got that done. So now you see just a little bit of a difference between that sidewall and the tread. Being the sidewall would not be as scuffed and gruffed as the tread. And there, most of your lettering is non-existent. So what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and we're ready to apply these decals on the sidewall. But what I'm going to do is that I've got this one. That's how we weather it. But since this is for this car, I'm going to go ahead and take this one that I've already got done. And we're going to go ahead and decal this one. We'll clean that up a little bit too. Just a little bit more off of the side there. Okay. All right. So now, uh, we'll get our decals. We'll just go ahead and cut off our Goodyear and our Eagle for this one here. Get that guy cut off of there. There we go. And then separate the Eagle and the Goodyear. We don't cut the E off. Come back around this way. There we go. All right, now we got those off of there. We'll just go ahead and set that eagle back here where we don't lose him. I get my tweezers here. I got my water here off the camera. 
and it is a hot day here today so this i don't have to worry about this water getting any too cold so we'll just leave that in there just a little bit like i said um but that's that's really guys all there is to that is how i do those and say in the sidewall is not as dark or a chewed up as the tread so once you get to that point we're ready for the decals so let's see if this guy's ready to go here Just bumping the camera knock it all over the place yeah now see that's he's ready to slide off of there so we'll just pick where we want that on the tire I should have used some solution on there. We should probably have been able to get it. There we go. think I don't think any of that's curled up so I'll take this cotton cloth here just dab that a little bit okay there's our good year okay so that really nice effect on there We'll come to the other side, the opposite there. I guess I should have had this eagle in there already. Could have been soaking. We'll get that in there. We'll get it going. But uh, guys, this they just gives a really nice appearance on these tires. And when they're done, they look so good to me, I think. Now, I have used to, obviously, uh, uh, just try to highlight the letters that are already on the tires, but this just looks so much more realistic here. So we'll take this. Okay, the eagle's ready to go. And I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a little bit of this mark fit on there. So if we need to slip it around a little bit, we can. Sorry about that, guys. I did it off camera. All right. And then we'll take our eagle. And we'll just... About the opposite side. We'll pull him right off. There we go. Trying to get him to slide down there. There we go. Let me get him off on my thumb. There we go. I hope you got fat fingers like that. Okay. So now we got our eagle on there. Okay. Because that is, we could probably go this way a little bit with it, but that's not bad. Yeah, there we go. There you go. All right. So that's that. Now, uh, I'm not going to do it on this one right now because I think I want to leave these set all night. But this dull coat from Testers, and I believe I believe Hobby Lobby still sells this. They got the gloss top coat and the dull coat top coat. And just simply, when you're done with that and that sets overnight, just take this, take a brush, dip it in, and then just brush over that because that'll do two things number one it'll help seal that decal in but also you get a shiny uh i guess i i, I guess they call that silvering maybe you can see actually where actually the the decal part is but by putting this top coat over it the dull coat uh you won't see that anymore that uh clear part of the decal so but I said, I don't want to do that when the decal is fresh like that. I'm going to leave it set overnight. So stage one is getting the tire 
tread, sanded, then the sidewall trimmed off and sanded, and then a little bit of polish with the Novus 2 or any kind of polish I would assume would work. I've only ever used this, so I know it works well. Uh, and then step three, the decals. And then the you do your dull coat, just brush it over the top, and then your end result will look like this. Now this is the Bobby Allison Buick that I did last year. So there's there's the finished result with the Goodyear Eagles. And this is after they have been dull coated. Uh, and you can really barely see, if any at all, you can barely see the decal. So it just blends it right and sets it right down into the tire. And uh, But yeah, this is the one I did last year. And I'm going to... Sorry, that's fish eyed like that, guys. Let, let me try something. I'll be right back. I guess that wasn't going to work. Uh, I got my my camera on the tripod tripod on the bench. I normally have it off of the bench, um, so this is pretty close. But anyway, you get the idea there. But that's the end result of the tires, guys, and that's how I detail them up. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to as well, uh, you could actually do the numbering. And I don't know if I'm going to do it on these, but you could put like left front, right front. And I think, now don't quote me on this, guys, but I think Lucas C. had a video on that. So uh, I, I'll leave his link in the description there. Maybe go check out his video on that. And I think he had his all numbered up and everything and what he used to do that. But I may just leave because not the races that I've watched, I you not ever seen that always on those. So I may leave them off of this, or I may go ahead and do that too. I haven't decided. But anyway, that's uh, that's how I detail my tires, guys. I could sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but uh, that's how I do it. So that's another step completed on the Yarborough Buick. And I, again, I, I'll go around and do that to the rest of these tires. Like I said, I just wanted to get it all so I get everything set where it needs to be uh, before I proceeded with that. And then I just did this little... I don't know, maybe not even a tutorial, but just a how I do it, you know, uh, my tires. So anyways, that's it, guys, for today. I know things are running long and probably tired of hearing me yak. So I'm going to back on out of here, guys. And uh, so you guys, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, stay tuned. Uh, my next step on this car is uh, trying to get the body work going and uh, get some paint laid down. And we can get this uh, thing rolling. So, guys, I'm going to move on out. You guys have a great day. God bless you and happy modeling.